Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Mass Effect Andromeda. We are on board the Ark Lucinia doing a Chorus loyalty mission and we have made it to this place. I'm not entirely sure what this is over there but I'm assuming it's the Mass Effect field generated by this device and we now want to turn it off because no one's in that section of the ship anymore so we don't need it anymore. So yeah, let's uh, scan this apparatus and turn it off. The device requires two people for shutdown. One disconnecting the cables and another at the device itself. I'll handle the device. Caution. Once begun, the failsafe cycle must be completed or the device will fuse. Okay. This device mass effect field... Oh. Oh, I see. I need to disable it in three different Spots. Ready, Vidaria? Disconnecting the first cable now. Cat! Watch the oh. device. We'll handle them. Well, um. We need you, Vidaria. You can do this. Right. Seems like we need to take care of a few friends first. Watch the glass. Don't bother. We've got mag boots. They don't. Hmm. That's a good point. Maybe we should destroy the glass. Okay, next cable, ready when you are. Can I actually shoot the glass? <laughs> anyway, let's just uh, follow through the quest here and um, disconnect the next cable. Second cable, we're getting there. More test. Yep, them of down. course. Goddess, how many came aboard? Um, oh, they're coming from over here now. I'm not in a good position. Alright, um, do we have any more? Okay, someone is down here. Alright, hang on a second. Grab some new ammo. And one more cable over here. Working on the last cable. Another attack. They're desperate rider. This must be the last of them. <laughs> Let's hope so. I've seen that destined over here. Oh no, it's actually an anointed. And a destined. This is their last stand. Break through. All right. And one more raid. Alright, disable the mass effect device. Um, uh, hang on a second. I want to see if there's anything for me to take in here. But there doesn't seem to be that much. Yeah, power cable. Right, uh, Let's go and disable that mass effect field. So I guess once I disable this, that thing over there will disappear. That noise, it's gone. If anyone asks, it was like that when we got here. <laughs> it's Captain Atandra. Ryder, the drive core is coming online. You did it. A few minutes and we're out of here. Yep, there's kind of a hole in your arc now. Can we still go to FTL if there's, say, a big hull breach down here? <laughs> uh, the maneuver I plan should hold us together. If the FTL burn doesn't, we'll have to cope. Okay. Sarissa here. Superb work, all of you. We're almost home. Yeah, 
It's really over. I should go and help. There might be something I can do. <laughs> yeah, um, I think you've done a good job so far. You helped save this whole arc. Not bad for your first big mission. Sarissa should be proud, Vidaria. You'll be one hell of a commando. You'd know, Lieutenant. Thank you. For everything. Goddess guide you. Pathfinder. Restoring power has freed up a data cache. It includes the succession log from Matriarch Ishara. Can you access it? Forget the data. I need you. The barrier's collapsing. Ishara, they'll tear the Ark apart. I... That data is the only thing that might buy us time. Can't reinforcements approaching, Pathfinder Ishara. Sarissa! My Sam can't... Tiamna, please! Mm. I have to save them, even if I can't save... Forgive me. Oh. So, she chose the data over the Pathfinder? Tiamna used to mean guardian of temples, a champion who stayed faithful even when all was lost. Sarissa left her to die. <laughs> it was a necessary decision. Uh, yeah, I don't know that. I mean, at that point, she wasn't even Pathfinder. She was the bodyguard of the Pathfinder. And as a bodyguard, she kind of failed her, you know, mission, right? So yeah, um I don't I don't think I don't think that's that was a good decision. What good is a guardian who doesn't defend her pathfinder yeah. when it matters? After everything she wrote on duty, sacrifice. Damn it all, Ryder. What do I do? First we yeah, what do they say about not meeting your the heroes? <laughs> the cat hunters blindsided us. They have a dropship headed for the breach on deck 12. How long until we have FTL? Too long. Sarissa's coming to help. Push him back. Okay. Helmets on, people. Yeah, I can see that this would hit Cora pretty hard. But um, we need to focus now. We need to um, get this done before... Oh, yep, they're coming. And I'm actually wearing my helmet for a change. I mean, technically, I always Porter. wear. The it. Mass Effect field device is still connected. Remotely triggering it may affect local gravity. Ooh. Could be useful. Optional trigger Mass Effect field. Yeah, I usually uh, wear my helmet all the time, I believe, but I have it disabled in in the options. And here we go. Keep your mag boots active, and watch the giant hole. Oh, I see. I can I can disable the gravity over here, and since we have boots and they do not, this may actually help Everyone, us, right? Hang on! All right. So. We got reinforcements. Oh, they got they got sucked into space, or blown actually, because uh, they were vented with the atmosphere, right? <laughs> Uh, this is weird. The noises are so dull. I mean, that's not really how vacuum works, right? But <laughs> I see what they were trying to do here. <laughs> you can jump. Alright. Working well enough so far. Ryder, the Valiant's sending more cats. Sarissa's almost there. Don't let up. Of course he's sending more. Yeah, there we go. A whole ship full of... cat. Enough! The decimation will not be denied! I will take my prey! Uh -huh. Must be the Valiant himself! Take him so down! So it would seem. Oh, I see. It's another one of those guys. Well, I know how to deal with you by now. Okay, let's focus on that guy for a change. What is your problem? Whoops, let's stay in cover for a moment. 
And there we go. Can now attack the Valiant directly, so let's throw everything at it. <laughs> you need to stop talking. You cat villains just talk too much. Someone someone is shooting me and I don't have good cover here. Alright, let's stay here for a moment. Shut the hell up! Yeah. Alright, now let's uh, continue with the orb. It's so weird with the dampened noises. Alright, and these defensives again. And we're almost there, I think. Alright. And I think now we can pick up the stragglers here. Get down here. Just don't fall into space. There we go. Forget capture! Launch everything! Kill the owl! Kill! So they are putting up a biotic field. Well, uh, good luck. Escaped. A skeleton crew, but enough to patch up the Ark. She'll make it to the Nexus. Whatever it cost. You need to talk to Sarissa about Ashara's message. I wanted to thank you both. That was exemplary work. I'm proud to- Ma'am? Sarissa? We know about Ashara. The log survived. Then her final moments won't be final. lost. You deserted your Pathfinder. You should be better than... I chose protecting all these people over a single life. The choice they train us to make, Lieutenant. But you didn't tell anyone. Because then you wouldn't be their shining hero. Mm. And maybe that's how it should be. Being a Pathfinder means giving them hope. Ryder, you know this, don't you? We should keep this quiet, the Asari should know. Ah, ha, ha, okay. Well, first of all, I have to say, you are not Pathfinder when you made that decision. And it honestly wasn't your call, because it was a Pathfinder's decision. And as a bodyguard, your job was to protect her and nothing else. So, um, it definitely was not your decision to make. And now that you made it, you know, what I've always been saying about Ryder um, not being one to cover up, you know, mistakes. So if you think what you did was right, then, you know, own up to it and tell the people and let them be the judge of it. But we're not going to uh, hide this from the Asari. They need to know. They need to hear the truth. Let them handle it. Ryder, <laughs> Cora. Don't do this. Sorry, but we need to prep for the Nexus approach. We've got a hell of a story for them. Indeed. There's more. Sarissa chose retrieving the Ket data 
over saving Ishara's life. Our Sam found the succession log. You've... One of your harebrained ideas got Ashara <sighs> the killed? The Ket killed her. I had to be sure the Ark could escape them. And we did, again and again, while they hunted us down. It's only dumb luck that Ryder found us. Who's next in line? Vidaria. <laughs> Maybe a Pathfinder with some humility can do better. You can look to Ryder's example. Um, keep Cyrus as Pathfinder. Nah, nah. I mean, the, the mere fact that she is trying to cover it up kind of tells me that she knew she did the wrong thing, because if she honestly believed she was doing the right thing, then she could just stand by it and tell it like it was and say, you know, Ishara made the wrong call and I saved us. And I'm willing to take the... Uh, responsibility for that and face the consequences but if you cover stuff up it means you feel guilty and it it means you know that you didn't do the right thing right so um, I think that kind of disqualifies her from being a pathfinder um, and if she's an next in line then I guess um, she can take the job I worked out okay Vidaria will find her feet I defended you against the cat Vidaria can't face them. She's not... A huntress without the trust of her team. Stands alone. She is a tree in the desert, bearing only defiance. My own words, Lieutenant. <laughs> They're true. Ma'am. And a brownie Cora does agree with me. Let's go. They're safe. That's all that matters now. But yeah, I think she took it pretty hard that, you know, her big idol did not live up to her expectations. Hey, you okay? Can I just do today over <laughs> again? And not have a Pathfinder stripped of everything she loves? I put so much faith in Sarissa, but the Asari were just as lost as we are. Hmm. Well, are you sure we are lost? I mean, considering the circumstances, I think we're doing fine. We know our mission. I think we're finding our way pretty well. <laughs> Should have known better than to say that to a <laughs> Pathfinder. Thank you for being there on the Lucinia. Can I tell you something? Sure. The old man was right to choose you as Pathfinder mm. instead. I don't blaze a trail. I always look for the mentor, their plan. As a Pathfinder, my mistakes would be worse than Sarissa's. Hmm. I like you anyway. <laughs> um. I'm not sure if this is like the right thing to say in the situation. You've done great things. Maybe that's true. Now what? You're twice the woman she is. Now, um, I think this is an interesting insight that she just gave us. That, you know, she's not a pathfinder because she's just following someone else's footsteps. Um, and she did uh, give off that impression. However, I mean, seeing that mistake or seeing that character trait in yourself and criticizing it is like the first step to you know make it better i suppose and not many people can can actually own up to their own you know mistakes and flaws and i think uh, Cora is doing doing pretty well and that's something that sarissa definitely did not do you know she tried to hide it and Cora is trying to, you know, improve herself. So I think you're twice a woman she is, indeed. Sarissa? She lied just to stay a hero. You fight, you save lives, and you don't need applause for doing it. That well is said. It is true. <laughs> Deal with it. Look, neither of us chose this. But maybe we both ended up where we needed to be. Even if we lost your father. But it's happened. If you can't outrun it, gotta use it. 
What did you? <laughs> he said something like that once. Still true. Hmm. I need to think of it, but I'll be okay. And on deck whenever you need me. Okay. Loyalty earned. Ryder has earned Cora's loyalty. Cora's rank 6 skills are now unlocked. Oh yeah, I couldn't actually level up my companions anymore because um, I need to unlock the higher uh, tier of their skills. Um, I don't know, do you want to talk about this again maybe? Back again? Well, apparently you do not want to talk about it, but maybe you want to tell me more war stories. Any more commando war stories? That's all I can share, anyway. <laughs> I miss them. Okay, apparently she told me all the stories she has. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Okay, so we have one loyalty mission done. Um, let me have a look at my skills. So... Cora can actually like take take some higher level skills now. Um hmm. Let's pick this one. No, 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 I want to I want to confirm it. Like so. <laughs> Alright. Um yeah, I think uh, I'm, I'm going to make a quick break here because I would like to check on my strike teams and stuff like that. And then um, we will continue and see what else we can do in this episode. Alright, I'm back. I have done my housekeeping and I have looked at my journal to see what we can do next in this episode. And I think I would like to go back to Haval because first of all, Jarl's loyalty mission is on Haval. But I have a few other quests uh, on that planet that still need to be finished. For example, PB needs to do some remnant scanning on Haval. And I still have this one over here. Contact Director Edison from Haval. So maybe uh, we can finish uh, these random quests first and then we can uh, start Jarl's loyalty mission. So let's go back to the bridge. And yeah, we still have the Ark in view. Can I actually like scan it? We're in parking orbit. Okay, I can. Scan complete. Ark Loisinia, named after a mythical Asari kingdom of wealth and learning, Ark Loisinia is built along similar specifications to Ark Hyperion. Sensors currently show heavy damage to many decks minimal power and few life signs. And yeah, it seems like we still have a bunch of stasis pods active. Projected 20,000, currently detecting 12,000. So I guess the remaining 8,000 are evacuated? Um, I hope we're going to pick up all the evacuated Asari because they're still in some escape pods or crashed on some planet, I guess. <laughs> So yeah, we should probably do that. And I suppose while I'm here, I can um, scan the remaining planets before I leave. Because in all likelihood, I'm not going back to this system uh, at all. All right. Hipal. Analysis. Much of Hipal's molten surface solidifies during the northern and southern hemisphere's short winters, reshaping the landscape every year. Oh, well, that's actually pretty interesting. So, the temperature on this planet is just at a threshold between, uh, you know, a solid surface and a molten surface. And in, in winter it's cold enough for the surface to solidify. That's pretty interesting. And Fostan over here. I'm picking up something. 
Fostan. Fostan is largely barren, but its atmosphere is theoretically capable of producing rainfall. Powerful localized storms could appear as often as three or four times a year. Okay, what do we got here? The point probe. I found something. A river. Source rainfall. <laughs> a violent and recent rainstorm must have occurred to create this river. The water will be absorbed or evaporated soon. Okay, well, gives me some XP. And Masid. Masid. Platinum and cobalt from the outer layer of Masid's surface pitted and cracked by innumerable meteor strikes. Okay. What Probe's do we got lost. here? Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Obviously. Aluminum. Oh no, I, I didn't actually take it. Give me that aluminum. And I think there's one more planet. And I actually need two more planets for my scan quest, but <laughs> I'm not going to finish it this time, apparently. Pass 16. Pass 16 travels in a synchronous orbit around its sun, leaving one side always lit and the other always dark. The reason for this is unclear, but a threat of scourge within its path is suspect. Okay. So, um, I think we finished scanning the system, yes. In that case, let's go back to Haval. And finish a few quests. Anomaly detected. Oh, I actually have never scanned this system either. In which case, I may as well do it. Probe away. I found something. Comet Dawnstar. Yeah, sure. Let's let's uh, scan the system too, and we will be able to finish the planet scanning quest. looks like a comet to me and it has a platinum deposit. This comet is rich in the empirically useful nephrite, although other elements have complicated exploration. Very bright, but a second orbit is unlikely. Best to mine it for other purposes. But it didn't actually give me nephrite, it gave me platinum. Whatever. Now let's scan the other planets too. Pospar. The immense and fiery Pospa is described in certain Nangaran texts as the guardian of Faroang, protectively circling the bright star until the day both cool. Oh, Faroang is the name of the star. And yeah, I finished that quest. Um, next time I'm on the Nexus, I can speak to Dr. Aridana again. I'm 
picking up something. Yelfine. Sulfur, iron and plutonium compose the bulk of Yelfine's surface. Its powerful storms shift in magnitude as its orbits around the gas giant Yetnoeth. Okay. Let's find that anomaly. Probe away. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Graphite. Okay. Take it. And we have another one over here. Something. This one looks pretty. Ferrum. Ferrum's carbon dioxide and argon atmosphere is inhospitable to most life, as are ocean's temperatures, which in sunlight during the proper season can reach the boiling point. <laughs> okay, maybe um, not a nice place to live. It's interesting though, because it looks like the uh, polar regions are frozen, but it seems too hot to. Uh, be ice, right? I'm not sure what that is. Anyway, let's find the anomaly. Probes launched. I found something. Biometer growth, thriving on ferrum where else little can, where, where little else can. Massive fungal forests stretch kilometers in the moist and hot air. I'm pretty sure that's quite an impressive sight. <laughs> I would I would actually like to see that fungal forest. All right, uh, but now let's go to Haval. Yeah, I still need to find some Roka Manifestos as well. Although this is probably a task for some off-camera work. Um, yeah, I guess I'll take Jal along. I mean, I don't need him for the other quests, but I'm going to need him for his mission. And I'll keep PB for the Remnant Scanner quest. Entering atmosphere. LZ in sight. All right. Here we are, and yeah, I should probably... Oh, we actually have a new quest here. That's interesting. Um, yeah, this is the first one I want to do. Contact Director Edison. Let's just travel to the forward station. And then we will speak to Edison, which apparently we can't do from like uh, the VidCon room or whatever. Nope, we need to do it here. Um, somewhere upstairs. Oh, it's inside here. All right. So, what's the best way to get inside here? All right, we have a hollow communicator here. No fungus. I'll find signs. Some people. Eat plant fungus as a delicacy. If you're going to eat something spewed out by a malfunctioning vault, at least do it on a dare. And these people are new, I believe. I don't remember talking to them. Ah, you'll be the Pathfinder then. Dr. McIntyre mm. from the Nexus. Ryder, welcome to Havarl. She'll be more welcoming now that you put the vault back on track. 
The Angara invited us to monitor plant growth and study ruins out in the jungle. It's the chance of a lifetime. Okay, well... Um, stasis fields. Oh, I think she's talking about those fields that captured a few Angaran when we came here, right? Be careful around those monoliths. There might be more stasis fields. We think they only affect Angara, but who knows? Oh, we know. Make no mistake. I have a check-in system ready. <laughs> Whether young Farley remembers it when he's chasing butterflies is another matter. Okay, well, I hope he does. So what exactly is your job here? What does your team do here? Zera is our botanist. She'll be minding the plants and designing an artificial habitat for them. She also happens to be an engineer. Uh, sorry, one profession's <laughs> never enough. Then there's young Farley. He's here for the insects. And you? I'm the Xenoanthropologist. A fancy word for talking to the Angara about those runes. And listening. Sounds like a nice job to me. Kieran Dals is, I believe, one of the Angaran um, who works here at the station. I imagine you've spoken to Kieran Dals already. She's the one who invited us, I <laughs> Fussed over us, something terrible. But she's a fine lady, and hopefully a good colleague down the road. I plan to listen to her. Okay. And what's your take on your reincarnation? You know how Tavos found the monolith, right? Reincarnated memories? Aye, I heard. One for the textbooks. You believe him? But you're a scientist. Asari share thoughts and memories. Prothean text speaks in visions. Those are scientific facts. There's more to people than what can go <laughs> under a microscope, lass. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I agree with that. I'm sure there is some scientific explanation for it. Good luck, McIntyre. Safe journeys, Ryder. Alright, so we have a few initiative scientists working here now. But yeah, let's uh, contact Edison. The reports didn't do this world justice. It's... ethereal. Mm. Director Addison, I imagine you have concerns that we haven't placed a full outpost? Frankly, it's impressive you weren't covered in vines on landing. Given the planet's significance to the Angara, it's appropriate that we assist, but not place an outpost. And the stability you brought? I received a thank you from Aya. That may be the first time I've heard those <laughs> words in Andromeda. Well, I hope I represent it as well. After the Ked and what they've seen of the Exiles, we had to be at our best. We've had precious few examples of that. Pathfinder might be getting close. Havaral helps. Outpost or not, we're gaining. We need another, but we're gaining. Although it's probably not enough to draw out one of Dr. Kennedy's trackers, you'll have to look in outpost systems elsewhere. I still need your voice. Something they can think about instead of an outpost flag. We're still here. Still doing important work. Then tell them that. Hmm. Okay, I need to uh, make another motivational speech, huh? You have to see this place. Hmm. Well, it is nice to look at. We were promised a lot when we signed on to the initiative. But no golden world ever looked like this. We need to know everything. About Havaral, about the friends who come from here. We need to know it all. Into the books, Pathfinder. At us now. Okay, so we spoke to her about the, well, not outpost that we established here but we have a few scientists working in the area and yeah it seems like we actually have another quest here so let me uh, see what it is all about it is somewhere over here oh Cluster more scientists alone can't tell us anything useful our sample set is much too narrow I guess these are the people that um, McIntyre talked about. Pathfinder Rider, Dr. Tsana Rilar, Xenobotanist for the Initiative, and my colleague, Dr. Eric Baumgarten. Xenogenetics. Pleasure to meet you. <laughs> it's dangerous out here. It, it is. There's a lot of very, very aggressive wildlife. No offense, but you probably shouldn't be out here alone. I'm not alone. I'm with her. <laughs> She's quite fierce. 
Your report of accelerated evolution and rapid growth of nature here caught our interest. We're analyzing everything we can for clues to replicate the effects on our own crops. <laughs> what a terrible idea. <laughs> I don't know, it doesn't hurt to uh, investigate it and then we will see what to do with it, right? It would have interesting applications if there's a way to control the process. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You understand the end goal. If we learn to enhance the growth of plants and animals in non-destructive ways, we could end hunger. It would change everything for the initiative. Our colonies could thrive virtually overnight. Since you repaired the vault, Things are returning to normal, but too quickly for us. The accelerated life forms you want to study are dying off, decaying. We're scrambling to scan and catalog everything before it's gone. We could use some help. Okay, sure. Uh, tell me what to scan. Point me at the life forms you need. I'll do the rest. Anything mutated beyond its baseline growth cycle will aid our work. I'll provide the most promising genetic markers to scan for. Thank you for whatever help you can provide, Pathfinder. Rendezvous here when you're finished. Okay, so I have um, another quest about scanning stuff. Oh, it's not actually um, marked. Oh, um, apparently you already have a creature over here. Where exactly does this quest lead me? What would go in here? Let me look at this. Kirin says Aval would have lasted another cycle. Two at most. Were the projections so dire? I could believe it. We came so close to losing everything. Okay, apparently I have to um, take the data from this database. Mutated Chalirian. Okay. A mutated Rilkor. And a mutated Aroch. Alright, so I need to collect data from these three life forms. I mean this may be stuff that I'm going to do off camera but um, what about that quest for PB? Let me uh, see where this is supposed to be. Remnant scanner. Okay it's in here. I'm pretty sure I have been to that remnant uh, structure already. So this may be actually pretty quick because I've already, um, you know, killed all the remnant. Unless they respawned, which could be true. But yeah, I guess I'm going to make my way over to that ruin and, you know, scan some stuff on my way. And I guess I'll bring you back once I'm done with that. Alright, I'm inside the remnant structure now and I was right. I have been in here before. I remember this place and it seems like the remnants have not respawned. So I should be able to reach my destination pretty quickly. Yeah, I remember this place. This was like a jumpy puzzle. I had to go up this pillar, pick up some loot and I think we fought a destroyer in here. But yeah, um, let's see what we can find here. Apparently there is... Oh, it seems like we have a few remnants in here after Dead all. Outlaws. What? Oh, I see. Hope the yeah. piece of Remtech I need is still here. We'll see. Um, the dead outlaws have not been here when I've visited the first time. I'm pretty sure about that. So let's destroy all these remnant. We can look for that piece of ram tech. Alright. That seems to be it. And yeah, um, I think I would have noticed that if it had been here before. So they must have come in after we cleared out this place. Alright, um, let's see what's going on in that... What is this exactly? Another room? 
Oh, and a data pad. Personal log, butch. Ha, we're in. Found a broken access point into this remnant structure. We're gonna get the piece the bosses are after, and I'm gonna win that bet after all and block. Yep, that didn't work out for you, did it? Hm. It's not worth it. What? Who? Who's who's talking? They're all dead. And now you're here. I'm <laughs> screwed. <laughs> yep, you are. That's right. You're in trouble now. <laughs> now, huh? We were supposed to clean out this site before you got here, but there were too many damn bots. This outfit doesn't care a lick about any of us. Um, what outfit exactly is this? Tell me about them. Just joined, so I can't tell you much. The Krogan's name is Crank or Crankit or something. <laughs> he runs the field crews. That's all I know. Here. Take the choice piece from this site. I'm officially retired. <laughs> Bet this is the second piece you need, PB. Yep. And the last one's turned up on Kadara. Coordinates uploaded. Okay, so we have another one on Kadara. Um... Well, apparently I have been into this room already. But um, we didn't actually find that piece of ram tech last time. Anyway, um, it seems like we've done what we needed to do for PB's quest. So I think I'm going to make a cut here. Um, I will return to the surface and I will probably do the scanning of the uh, wildlife on this planet off camera. I mean, since we're not going by uh, Nomad, I'm not getting any party banter. So I don't expect anything uh, interesting to happen while doing that. And I still need to find some more Roka uh, data pads. So yeah, let's make a cut here. And I think in the next episode we can actually start uh, with Jar's loyalty mission. So you can look forward to that. So yeah, as usual, thank you for watching and see you again next time.